Hey folks, Phil Thompson here from Streaming Church TV, and you're seeing double because I have the Adobe Flash Media Live encoder open. I want to show you a couple things here. Uh, first of all, most of you know that you can stream to the iPhone, the iPad, from your PC now using the Adobe Flash Live Media encoder without a plugin. All you have to do is go over here to the left side, make sure you change your video format to H.264. There's some other settings you want to make sure you've got. And then over towards the center to the audio format, you want to make sure it's an MP3. And again, uh, some other settings here with the channels and sample rate and all that. Now, if you need more information on that, just email me. I'll tell you. Here's where the problem comes in for most of us. Once you make that change, over here, when you go to save what you have streamed to your hard drive by clicking save the file, it has changed the file extension from a .flv, which you could... Uh, open up using a flash player and edit and blah blah blah. It's changed it to a .f4v. Now that's not a problem if you're just going to upload your video raw to uh, your on-demand on video, video vault. People can still see it. But if you want to open it up and look at it and maybe edit it after you've streamed, can't do it. There doesn't seem to be anything that opens it. I don't know why that is. So here's what you've got to do. You've got to change the file uh, to something else that you can work with. So uh, what I did here earlier was I went ahead and I uh, uh, did a little quick little stream here and here it is it's under fill and what you want to do is convert this to uh, something like an mp4 that would be my suggestion. Now uh, what do you use to do that with? Well uh, there's free software out there here's what I'm using replay converter just google replay converter and uh, you want to go ahead and uh, use this free software. You want to add the file to convert it. So in this case, I'm taking this uh, .f4v. I'm going to convert it. And over here, you can choose a format. Now, I would suggest you choose uh, MPEG-4. That makes it an H.264, and it's going to make it an MP4. Go ahead, and uh, uh, you can choose any setting, but I would change that. That way, people. When you upload it later, people uh, you know viewing on their iPhone and their iPad and Roku will be able to see it from your on-demand media vault. So you want to go ahead and convert this from a .f4v, which is something that's hard to work with, <laughs> and you want to convert it. There you go. It's just told me it's converted, and you want to convert it to an MP4, which I have now done. So now you can get in and edit it using something like Handbrake or Lightworks or something you've used in the past to edit your video. You can edit it and then you can FTP it to the on-demand video vault. And eventually here, folks, we're going to make it so you can actually archive things while you're streaming it. That's coming soon. I'll tell you a little more about that later. But uh, that's all for now. I understand you might have some questions, so all you have to do is email me at phil at streamingchurch.tv or maybe easy to remember support at streamingchurch.tv and I'll answer all your questions. Have a great day.